this is what I'm dealing with. <laughs> just wanted to show you guys that it's uh, it's raining just a little bit here in Tennessee, and uh, to explain a little bit about the underwater gun stuff. Um, originally, whenever I did these tests, I took and I measured the distance, and for the handguns, that worked out pretty well because they were fairly consistent, and I was able to measure out uh, each caliber, uh, how many feet it went uh, under the water and everything. For the FMJs and for the AK and the AR, I ended up having somewhat good results, but ended up getting that AR-15 malfunction in it, and oh, I've got a little bit of sun coming out now. Maybe now I can do slow-mo. <laughs> just a little bit. Um, is that a rainbow? Or is that just a flare? That's yeah, a sun. I'm easily distracted. The ADD's kicking in. Um, but because of the malfunction, it really made everything kind of not scientific. It's pseudoscience anyways, but um, the malfunction ended up seizing up the brass and the bolt carrier group and it took a lot a lot to get that out so unfortunately i couldn't continue doing the test i wasn't about to mess up another ar off of the uh, off of just doing that it's not really that that cool of a test i mean it's interesting to watch in slow-mo but it's no way shape or form practical the big reason why i was doing it was to give like a baseline because um i was working with a company on doing a video on underwater ammo well, a lot of you guys were like, hey, when are you doing that? When's that When's that piece coming out? Well, unfortunately, during the process of doing that, they ended up having to pull the footage uh, because the United States government bought the patent and the rights to that uh, ammo and classified it. So um, now that information is classified. So that's why I never did the underwater uh, ammunition thing. Now there's earlier versions of that stuff that um, I think you can find online when it comes to super cavitation ammo but the new high-speed stuff uh, the stuff that's you know, fairly accurate underwater all the way up to 50 BMG it was really really expensive that's the reason why I waited was because I was trying to see if anybody maybe discovery or somebody might help sponsor the tests uh, because it was a lot of money per round but Anyway, so that's the reason why uh, I didn't end up putting all this stuff with the original. Uh, but you know what? It's raining here. It's raining here in Tennessee, and it looks like it's going to be raining all week long. So I'm kind of uh, I'm at the mercy of the weather. So you guys might be getting a, uh, a couple more 50 cal videos here in the next couple weeks. But I'll be heading out to Texas to do some stuff with some uh, high explosives. We're going to be blowing up uh, a few uh, SUVs in the name of science. We're going to be out there with a bunch of bunch of acronym agencies. If you get my drift, uh, so that would be fun. We're going to be doing a lot of different uh, scientific tests and everything. Because a lot of you guys know that I do um, do a lot of different things outside of full mag here. Actually, I'm at the offices right now uh, for one of my other my other jobs, but. Uh, the next couple weeks are, should be some really cool content when it comes to high explosives and things along that nature. Uh, so it'll be a lot of fun going out there and, and doing those tests and that research and whatnot. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you get a little bit of value of it and, uh, and everything. I really appreciate you guys tuning in and uh, I'll see you next week.